Hey everybody, you know what today is? Today is the Thursday before the Super Bowl and we have got a delight for you. Today we're doing, some people call them pig shotgun shells. I call them bacon shells, but basically all it is is a piece of sausage wrapped around bacon and they, with some additional stuff in it and then you cook it and they are delicious. Before we do that, I got a question for you. When it comes to Worcestershire shosh, or who's your mama sauce, or what's your mama's sister's name sauce, let me ask you this question. Has anybody in their lifetime ever gone through an entire bottle of this? All right, I have the answer for you later on in the video. All right, let's start. Just gonna take some of this andouille sausage, start cutting it up. And I want some big slices for it. <laughs> I want some big slices for it. That way the bacon can go through it a little better. So I'm actually gonna bump this up even further, but I need about 12 of these. I think we're good. If we need more, we can always add to it. So I just took a thing of bacon. This is just regular old bacon. Nothing special about it. Cut it in half. And here's the idea behind this. You're just gonna put your, here, maybe we'll do it this way. Take a piece of bacon like this, put your sausage in there like that. Just kind of roll it up. See like that? Then I take a toothpick, I put it through the bacon, through the bottom, and out the back. And that way it leaves me with this little slot right in here that I can put all the pure goodness into, right there, right there. I'm going to show you how to do another one, because they are pretty darn simple. Ah, there's a big fat one. Roll it. We skewer it. Right through the middle. And out the back. Just like that. All right, I'm going to make several more of these and then we'll make our stuffing for inside. For our filling, we're just going to use a thing of cream cheese. And it's pretty much kind of at room temperature, close enough for government work, right? But I'm going to just kind of smash it up a little bit. Excellent. Kind of helps to work with it a little bit more as well when you smash it up. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was awesome. See that? Damn, that was cool. I couldn't do that if I tried for 100 years. All right, I've got about half a cup of extra sharp cheddar cheese left, but I'm not going to put that much in. Probably going to put in about a quarter. And then we're going to just kind of judge it from there and see how it looks. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get some flippage out of it again. That was cool. But actually, that looks pretty darn good. All right, time to answer the question about who's your mama sauce. Worcestershire sauce, I don't know how you pronounce it, but here's the answer to the question. Has anybody in their lifetime ever gone through an entire bottle of Worcestershire sauce? And the answer is, hell if I know, but we're gonna use it right here. We're not gonna use a lot, just a little bit. Just adds a little extra flavor. Mix it in there. That's just about perfect. Now, I'm gonna use some of Uncle Steve's South Texas Red for this. I love this stuff. Uh, you can order it online. 
Probably make your own if you really wanted to, but I'm just going to use a couple teaspoon, tablespoons excuse me, over the top. Mix it in. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. You don't have to use anything. You don't even have to use cream cheese. You can find something else. I don't care. You do what works with you. for you. This is just how I do it. I'm going to give it just a little bit of a taste. It's pretty damn good. That's really good. All right. So our next step is we're going to pipe this concoction that we just made into our shotgun shells. We're just going to take a plastic bag and just move what we made into the bag. Here's a bonus question for you. What's El Dutorino drinking now? If you can guess, for one, congratulations for making it this far into the video. Big thumbs up to you. Actually, big thumbs up, two of them. And second of all, I'll give you a virtual hug. All right. Here we go. Our stuff. Now, we just take it, I'm going to roll it, and get as much air out of it as possible. And then I'm going to take this end right here, and I'm going to give it a nice cut. Let's grab some shotgun shells here, start filling them. our first one. See how that works? That's cool. Our second. We got to kind of work it a little bit, but there we go. Let's take our third one, fill it up. All right, now you got to really be aware too is am I going to have enough for 12 of these? Am I going to have too much? What's the story? All right, I'm going to finish these up and we'll see you when we're done. Now's the time that we put our bacon shells onto the barbecue, but here's the deal. I want to keep this between 300 and 350 degrees, and I'm going to do kind of a semi-indirect heat. So this is a three burner unit, right? One, two, three. And that middle unit is going to be on as low as it can possibly go. And that's where these shells are going to go is right up to the middle. And the other sides are going to be a little higher. Now, of course, like anything else, whether you had an oven inside or your barbecue or out here, or whatever, temperatures are gonna fluctuate. So you gotta really keep an eye on them. Let's do it. Now, I don't know about you, but when it comes to bacon, I like mine just starting to get crunchy. Mrs. Dude's a different story. She likes her crunchy style. So I might have to take some of the lesser aesthetically pleasing shells you know the rejects of the shells and give them to her <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit more of Uncle Steve's South Texas Red sprinkle across across the tops of these just gives them a little bit more depth of flavor. All right, like I said, between 300 and 350, right. we're about 30 minutes into this cook. And I noticed earlier, they're starting to fall down and there is one problem that's come up. And if you don't watch it, you'll get this. You know, it just kind of blows out the side. And that's just because I didn't, I think it's just because maybe the bacon was weak. I don't know. But anyhow, we're looking at the bottom of these. And some of these are darker than others. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a switch. And I'm going to take some of these from the front and move them to the back. Right. We're going to continue to cook these. And we'll check in here in just a few moments. 
We're at the 45 minute mark and I think it's time for some barbecue sauce. I'm going with the Carolina style gold, but just a little drop on each one. Just kind of drizzle across. I don't need a whole heck of a lot. It's so close to being done. I think we're about five minutes away. Been about five minutes and I think it's just time to take these off. These, I mean, just the smell alone is gonna be a, a crowd pleaser, totally. Let's let the bacon shells cool for about 10 minutes and try them out. Just look at that. We got the barbecue sauce on that. We got the cream cheese mix that we made. Our bacon, which I like, it's perfect. And that plug at the bottom for our shotgun shell. Let's try it, that looks amazing. Oh, this is, the, the aroma in here is amazing. Wow, the flavors are awesome. The Uncle Steve's South Texas Red is, is great. You don't have to use this. You can just use salt, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder would be great. Awesome, but you get that bacon with the cream cheese. The barbecue sauce, whatever barbecue sauce you use is up to you. I, I have my own preference, I use it. Take that out. Mm. That andouille plug that we used for the bottom of the, where we wrap the bacon around, it's just awesome. And it adds a little bit, it, it absorbs a little bit of that flavor of the cream cheese and whatever else we used on it. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Super simple to make. Perfect for the Super Bowl. By the way, I am drinking just a vodka soda with lime. So those of you who guessed it, group hug. Those of you who watched to the very end, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope your team wins for the Super Bowl. Mine was out at playoffs. Is what it is. We'll see you next time on the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. Take care, guys. Love you. Actually, love you. Hang loose, guys. Talk to you soon.